So, you're saying you know of a way to undo all the wrongs we've endured? I don't believe him. He's hiding something. Let him speak. I warn you, this had better not be a waste of our time. No games, Doctor. I do love games! How about a game of croquet? This matter's a fraud. I know the kind. He's like those cursed gypsies. They're all thieves and liars. I won't sit here and be insulted. Evening, y'all. Would have been fun or your loss. Pardon me, muscles. But I got business with a certain princess. Sit back down. Yes. If what you say is true, then we are indeed indebted to you. Bring him. Whoa, whoa. Easy, friend. My, my. You got biceps to spare. And not a bit of me scraggly or scrawny. And every last inch of me's covered in- Silence! My patience grows thin. Tell us what you know. This plan is foolproof. <laughs> I shall be the judge of that. I discovered a way to control time itself. A power so strong, it can alter the events of the past, the present, and the future. What is it? Any of y'all ever heard of the sundial of Kronos? The fabled sundial of the ancient god of time? How would you know of such ancient magic? <laughs> My friends on the other side, of course. They're all familiar with the underworld and its secrets. The sundial of Kronos. God of time. I assume you haven't gathered us here to discuss bedtime stories. Back when the universe was new, there were only titans. Kronos, among the most powerful, was the god of time. He became obsessed with his power and altered time to bring about death and destruction. Sounds delightful. The powerful Titan created the gods of Olympus, but he was petty, spiteful, and he wanted all his competition destroyed. One god fought back and defeated Kronos, the mighty Zeus. You there! Do you understand a word of what he's saying? It's all Greek to me. After Zeus defeated Kronos, he imprisoned him. Some say he was locked away on Tartarus. Some say it was a cave of night. But they were wrong. The sundial! He was banished in a sundial! <laughs> Figure that out all by yourself, did you? <laughs> the sundial gives the owner power to control time itself. Nonsense! I'll show you nonsense, old man. Enough! <laughs> this is quite a tale you spin. If what you say is true, where is it? How do we find this dial? Step away from there. The cards will tell. Ooh, <laughs> it's at the Princess Academy. Of course it is. You mean our adversaries and their simpering friends have this power? How? Hades wielded his power for a time, but when he was defeated it was thought to be lost. But there was one person who knew of his location. Who? Hades' captive, Megara. Or Meg as she's more commonly known. Zeus entrusted the sundown to Meg and ordered it sent to the Prince's Academy to be kept safe. We must kill her! Off with her head! Patience. Retrieving such an item from a palace guarded by magic will require a bit more... finesse. What's that? It will require skill, cunning, and expertise. All qualifications I readily possess. Get that sundial, and we can control time with ease. One, two, three. Revenge. <laughs> I assume you know how to unlock its power. That's where me and my friends were at a loss. I was hoping one of y'all would know. I knew he was a fraud! Now I'm afraid your usefulness has come to an end. Up with his head! <laughs> Ugh, starting to creep me out. Something you find amusing? This fool asks us to go to great lengths to procure an ancient mystical sundial doesn't even know how to wield its power. <laughs> how quaint. It's a sundial. Perhaps the sun? If only it were that easy. 
I'm to understand you know how to use this dial? Why, of course, your majesty. Oh, please, dear, call me your highness. <laughs> how does it work? The light of the sun moves time forward, so it would be safe to assume. The light of the moon moves time backwards. So the legend says. But for a deed this dark, we must violate the laws of nature itself. A blood moon. It's too bad you can't do your magic-y thing and make a blood moon. Any ideas? Magic mirror, instruct this knave! Give him the answers he doth crave! These women are nothing but trouble. I quite agree. <laughs> How amusing. There'll be no need for mirrors. I have the power. You? But of course, my dear. All the forces of darkness are mine to command. Creating a blood moon is but a trifle for the mistress of all evil. Let's get that down! We shall strike immediately! We mustn't draw attention to ourselves. If those princesses and their filthy friends discover our plan, they'll try to stop us. Best we take a more subtle approach. I'll go get it! I was a princess once too, you know. I said subtle. We'll need to sneak in. Disguise ourselves as princesses. Well, you already have the dress. <laughs> I'll do it. I'm something of an expert in disguises. I'll get into that school and befriend this Meg. And then what? Ask nicely. Oh no, she's going to give it to me. And I've always said if you want something done right, do it yourself.